the reason why you need to post when they're online is so when is the best time to post on TikTok? Let's be honest, we love posting videos, but we're not posting just to post. We want people to see our content. I'm gonna show you when is the best time to post on TikTok so you can get the maximum views on your video. Coming up next. <laughs> Hey, so welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here we do tips, tricks, and tutorials on the different platforms such as TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. So if you want more videos like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Also, give this video a like. Giving this video a like tells YouTube that people actually love this video and it can help others out that need to see it. So let's go ahead and get into it. You've been making content, you see some of your videos gaining traction, and then other videos go nowhere, or maybe all of your videos go nowhere so how can i get more views when are the best times to post check this out the best times really do vary the first thing i am going to tell you is how many followers do you have right now what you need to know is how to please those followers first and so you need to go in your analytics on tiktok let's go ahead and do that right now so i am on my profile i'm hitting the three lines to the top right go into creator tools and analytics is the first thing. Now, analytics is the first thing because TikTok wants you to know how your videos are performing. Why? So that you can make more content like that and post it when your followers are online. So you have overview, content, followers. Let's just go straight to followers. As we scroll down, most active times, most active times, I see that my followers, it shows between 12 and 2 p.m. 12 and 2 p.m., that's definitely lunchtime. Now, yesterday was Sunday, but it's saying that, you know, between 12 and 2 p.m. on the weekend was the best time to post. The 19th, it says anywhere between 1 p.m. and 9 p.m. It's It was a Saturday. So between 1 and 9 p.m. on a Saturday, it's saying that all of my followers are online. Now, we know at any given time, everyone's on TikTok every hour of the day. But when are your followers most online? The reason why you need to post when they're online is it really matters who is already your follower base. If they get notifications and they watch or skip past your video, that is either going to help you or hurt you. But if you're also posting when they are not online, it means that likely they will never see your video and no one's going to watch it and able to push it so it can be on the For You page. So first things first is start with knowing when are your current followers online. Now, if you're looking for days and weeks, I recommend posting a video every Thursday. The reason why I say is because it takes usually 48 hours for a video to pick up or even drop off. You post it on Thursday, people are off on the weekends or out of school on Friday. Your video has Friday, Saturday, and Sunday to go viral. Trust me, you can never go wrong with posting on a Thursday night. You could post on Friday, but that's usually when people are already on their phones doing something so it may take your video a second to get in front of them and you pretty much have wasted the whole friday because you just decided to post a video in the afternoon i would post that video thursday or thursday night also you've heard it said before that um posting a video at nighttime, people are in different time zones different countries your video can go viral overnight posting at 9 p.m i've seen it happen it is definitely possible just because you're asleep people work night crew People work overnight from nine at night till six in the morning. Don't forget about the other side of the world who was up watching content. You need to do what needs to be done so you can get the first few views as quick as possible. So right when you're done with that video, it gives you an option to share to the different platforms. So if you're on TikTok, share it to Facebook, share it to Instagram, share it to Snapchat copy and paste the link, put it in a text message for eight or 10 of your friends, send it to them. Your whole goal is to get about 20 to 30 views on whatever video you post as soon as possible. The quicker you get the views, no matter what the content is, positive, inspirational, uh, something happening in the news, um, religion, Christianity, you know, uh, peace, um, science, technology, whatever it is, send it out to as many people as possible even if it already has 
no views because you just made it, your whole goal is to get views in a short amount of time so that the algorithm can pick it up and realize that people are actually watching this video. Now, once you're posting during those times, you want to put in the caption a question, a call to action for someone to answer that in the comments. While they are typing in the comments, while they are answering their questions or giving a comment related to something you asked in the video, your video is looping. If your video is looping while they are typing in the comments, that is a win-win. It is a plus for you. You cannot go wrong with people uh, growing your watch time on your content. This is definitely going to help you. Keep in mind, if you decide, you know what, I am going to post you know, in the evening because everyone is in bed. If bedtime is 9 o'clock, let's say here in Sacramento, California, well, you know it's 12 o'clock on the East Coast. So you actually want to post not at 9 o'clock here you want to post at six o'clock on the west coast so it'll be nine o'clock on the east coast you generally want to have that rule of thumb that if you're trying to reach all of the united states or maybe you know other countries you have an idea of if i'm going to post here at a certain time i'm going to i'm going to up it a few hours the reason why people talk about consistency is because it's the same thing with going to the gym if you want a six pack if you want to lose weight guess what you can't just work out once a week we have to be honest with ourselves and be real. How many have done that? You go to the gym, you work out, you know, two days, you work out three days a week and you're excited, but you dropped off by the fourth week because you know what? It's a lot of work. I have to drive to the gym. I have to look at everyone else working out. I don't want them seeing me work out. Well, hey, guess what? Then that means you're not going to get the results. So if you want to grow on the platform, you have to not only consistently post, but you have to push past burnout. You have to implement it into your routine. You have to implement it into your schedule. You know, many of you know that I have a second channel um, and I'm fighting to get past 9,500 followers on TikTok. I have my main channel, which is over 300,000 followers. And we've talked about TikTok is now uh, suppressing views because they know the more people that are reaching 10, followers they're going to join the creator fund and so you know we're all having a hard time but you know what I keep posting I keep pushing past it I'm getting the views I'm getting the likes I'm getting the comments sometimes TikTok will suppress your content we have to realize that some things are out of your control but the whole point is that your content is up there when people share it, it's still going to get views. When you ask for a question, people are going to comment. So keep posting. Make sure that, you know, if you can only post a video once a week, then make sure you're doing it once a week. Don't post once this week. Skip a couple of weeks and wonder why you're not growing on TikTok. I would recommend that you would at least try to post three videos a week on TikTok. Content type, I wouldn't stress off of that right now. I can do a lot of things as well as I'm sure you can do a lot of things or maybe you specialize in certain you know skills or tasks I would not just do one thing and try to grow that audience I would post about five different types of content whether you're in the video or not and see what catches you know see what people gravitate to if you're trying to grow a platform because you want to grow the platform that's one thing if you want people to you know uh, like you or know who you are or you're sharing your knowledge then that's another thing so and even if you're knowledgeable in a bunch of different areas don't just share one thing because people might not be interested in that one thing because you're knowledgeable in it you may have knowledge in this area it's not yet where you really want to be but it's a lot more knowledge than the viewers that are watching I've learned that and uh, that was one of the things that surprised me is when I got to 100k followers on TikTok, I forgot about the people who don't even have, you know, 500 followers, who don't even have a thousand followers, and I was so stuck trying to make content for the people that had 100,000 followers, 200,000, realizing, oh, you know what I could do? I can make videos for people that only have 100 followers. I can target that uh, uh, that genre. I can target those people so that they can know how to grow to 1,000 followers. They can know how to grow to 5,000 followers. And so that's what I did. And next thing you know, my profile was way up there. So remember, there are a ton of things that you know 
that a lot of people in the world don't know and you can share those things um, that will be good tips for them or good stories or good learning experiences and those types of things can build you an audience who really wants to watch your content who likes you personally and would love to support you and also remember when you're posting at specific times the type of content you're posting matters whether it's something in the news right now even if you don't post at what you feel is the right time because it's something that is currently trending on the news and you make a video about it it's going to take off at some point no matter what lastly i'm going to add don't forget to repost your videos if you have a video that you know is is a good video it's good content whatever it is don't just post it one time there's been a number of times when i posted a video a second time and it went viral we don't want to get viral mixed up with all about the numbers and not about the content people want their video to go viral because they want it to be seen and sometimes people can talk about Everyone's trying to go viral, viral, viral. Well, there's a reason why. People want the video to be seen. It's not viral so, you know, we can, you know, make a bunch of money and no, we want to go viral. We want the video basically to get views, you know. Um, and there are TikTok stars, you know, who you see them trying to dance and they're trying to get all these video views. We understand that, but most of us, want the video to be seen so viral is a good thing when you have bad intentions then of course you know people are inside of target and grocery stores you know trying to do anything to go viral that's not the way to go about it but i recommend if you have some content that you know is good post that content at least two or three more times I'm a pop up a video here. I have a ministry channel on TikTok. I posted this video once and it did okay. One day I was scrolling through my own content and I said, you know what, man, that spoke to me. That just ministered to me. Let me post that video again. And so I posted it again. Uh, it didn't have a watermark. I, I think I changed the title a little bit and the video got over 14,000 uh, views, but this was on Instagram, you know, every platform is different different platforms are going to react different ways because the audience is different TikTok uh followers are different from instagram followers you have different maturity levels youtube you got kids and adults and college people instagram is more college um, TikTok obviously young but now you have young and old and then of course uh facebook you got everybody but not really the young people so the one content is not going to uh, respond the same or have the same response on all platforms. Been there, done that. Hey guys, if you're going to use any of these tips, please comment below and let me know, have you tried anything? Are you going to try some of this or have you already? Where are you at on your TikTok account? How many followers do you have? And you know, what's working for you? Help someone else out in the comments or uh, in our community and let them know what you've tried so that they can be where you are. All right, guys. And so until next time, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next video.